Hi students, welcome back. Now coming to the next topic in artificial intelligence. We are dealing about the learning from observations. In the previous video, I explained about the inductive learning. Now coming to the next topic in learning from decisions is the decision tree learning. So with the help of the decision tree, you can learn how it is possible. Now let's see, not you means the humans as well as the machines because we are giving the programming to the machines. So first you need to be no later, you have to uh, design the systems, right? So decision tree learning, how it is done? Let's see. It represents a function that takes as an input a vector of attribute values and returns a decision that is a single output value. So by seeing just like an inductive learning, okay. So it takes so many inputs as a vector of attribute values and it has finally it has to return one decision that should be a single output value. The decision tree algorithm falls under the category of supervised learning. So it is also falls on just like inductive learning is also use the supervised learning is the same way the decision tree also use the comes under the supervised learning they can be used to solve both regressions and classification problems also a decision tree reaches its decision by performing a sequence of steps so here we are performing some sequence of steps to make to form a tree okay so to form a tree we need to make some sequence of test so let us take a simple example suppose some outlook uh, the weather forecasting outlook i want to go to out so when you can go suppose in a, if it is a sunny you are not supposed to go out okay you don't want to go for outing suppose if the outlook the weather forecasting it is a raining obviously you won't go for sightseeing and whenever the overcast is there then you prefer to go out so this is a decision you are uh, making a decision by taking so many uh, inputs so this is a decision tree learning so here the each node test an attribute and here whatever the nodes that here in this branch each branch corresponds to an attribute value node and here each assigns some classification so let's see uh, one of the decision tree learning algorithms. Actually, there are so many algorithms are there uh, to find. Uh, they can represent in decision tree uh, to make the decision tree. Uh, one of the famous and the most common decision tree algorithm is ID3. So in this video, I want to explain uh, about ID3 algorithm. Okay, later I'll take an example to explain this algorithm also. Okay. The decision tree learning algorithm, uh, the example for this ID3, that is ID3 is nothing but it, iterative. Okay, iterative, not interactive, sorry. Iterative dichotomizer. Okay, dichotomizer. ID3 means iterative, I is iterative dichotomizer. D means dichotomizer 3. So this is one of the uh, implementation for the decision tree. ID3 is one of the most common decision tree algorithm. That is iterative dichotomizer is one of the most commonly used decision tree algorithm. So what is this dichotomizer here? The dichotomizer means dividing into two completely opposite things. Dichotomizer means dividing one thing in that that is into two completely opposite things. So here you can observe the weather forecasting is sunny. And the weather forecasting is rain. Means these two are completely opposite. Sunny means too hot. And rainy means too. It's a complete raining is there. These are two opposite things. Not the same things. These are two opposite things. So this you call it as a dichotomizer. The dichotomizer means dividing into two complete opposite things. The one weather forecasting is divided into two opposite. Completely opposite things. Here the algorithm iteratively divides attributes into two groups. Whatever this algorithm ID3 is going to iteratively divides the attributes into two groups. Two groups which are the most dominant attributes and others to construct a tree. So whatever the most dominant attributes are there in that we are uh, dividing and we are implementing the tree on that. Then it calculates the entropy and information gains. So these are all with the help of these two formulas we are going to calculate uh, 
calculates the uh, entropy and information gains of each attribute whatever the attribute that we are taking is a rain whether it is a raining or humidity so which day we prefer to go out so that can be uh, decided by this decision tree how by calculating the entropy and the gain values of each attribute i'm talking about each attribute so the attributes that are involved in that concept so for that attributes for each attributes you need to find the entropy value as well as the gain value so that i'll explain uh, later so by taking the example so just apply the formulas for on the each and every attribute in this way, the most dominant attribute can be founded. So, by calculating this, uh, we have to find out what is the dominant attribute. Means, which one is having the highest value. That can be founded. After that, the most dominant one is put on the tree as a decision node. So, whatever we are finding that is the most dominant, that has to be placed on the, placed as a node. Decision node. That has to be put on the tree as a decision node. Entropy and gain scores would be calculated again among other attributes. Suppose if you done on one attribute means you have to perform again on another attribute to check which one is the dominant value to make a decision tree. So you have to every time you need to apply the entropy and the gain scores that has to be calculated again among other attributes. The processor continues until reaching a decision for that brand. So we have to continue until it reaches a decision. So let's see the formulas here. So I'll apply these formulas in the example. So don't be confused. Uh, the example is very important for this decision tree learning. So calculate the entropy for every attribute using the data set S. So with the help of this data set S, you need to calculate the entropy value. Okay. So the entropy formula is sigma minus P of I into log P to the base 2 of I. Split the set S into subsets. So first you need to split the set S into subset using the attributes for which the resulting entropy that is after splitting is minimum or equality information gain is maximum. And this is a formula for gain. Gain S of A, S comma A is entropy S minus sigma P of S by uh, A is the attribute here. Uh, S by A is nothing but S is given by A. So, make a decision tree node containing that attribute and recurse on a subset using remaining attributes. Okay. So, this algorithm I will implement on an example. So, don't be confused. You will just see the example. You will understand what is this decision tree learning. Thank you.